Good evening. I'm um, not going to tell you where I am just yet, but as just a little bit of an introduction to this video, just want to show you my new purchase. I'll just turn the camera around. So, we've got ourselves a camper van. Let the adventures begin. Okay, so I'm not going to um, start getting into doing van live videos, but um, this week we've come up to the four waterfalls um, at the in the Brecon Beacons. Um, this is the first time I've been up here. I've obviously just bought this van, so I thought I'd give it a trial run and um, come up and check them out. So we've come up, um, I've come up the night before, um, we're, we're doing the waterfalls tomorrow morning and um, Martin's, he's coming up with Joe and meeting me in the morning. So um, for now, I'm gonna check out and then stick with me and then I'll show you the waterfalls tomorrow. See you then. Good morning. Well, early start from the camper. Thought we were going to get an early start down to the waterfalls, but with some confusion, we've uh, walked down to one set of waterfalls, walked back up to the car park, driven to another set of waterfalls, camp park, because the car park's shut. So we've now come back to the original waterfalls to have a walk around these. Uh, so this is the uh, Four, four waterfalls walk in on the Breckens. Uh, we were going to do the Aladir Trails waterfalls, but because the car park's shut, we've opted to come back to this one. So we've already walked about three and a half mile and not even got anywhere close to waterfall yet. So, but uh, we're getting there. Okay, first shot of the day. Um, got my shots. Martin moved that away for me to get what I needed. Um, just talk you through the composition. Uh, there we are in the back of the camera. Uh, what I've done is use this tree here and here to, to frame this, this sort of general image with uh, some foreground rocks here. So it's created a bit of a, a window through that through that gap there, looking through to that waterfall. Um, we had a fair bit of rain yesterday. We've had a really long dry spell, but we did have a fair bit of rain yesterday, which has obviously increased the flow a little bit, but I would imagine in it's when it's really wet, this really does thunder out over here. But actually this is quite a nice amount of water because it's it's not too much, um, and there's but there's enough flow there to get some detail and make it look nice. So yeah, first shot, I'm actually shooting at one fifth of a second F10 ISO 64. Okay, so just trying a few other options. Um, using 
that rock there in the foreground. Um, similar settings, fifth of a second, F11, ISO 64. Uh, come a bit closer up underneath the underneath the pole here. Yep, for the first uh, for the first pole that we managed to get close to. Yeah, very impressed. Enjoying it now. Quite liking this angle. Um, in the interest of photography, I've clambered down over here, and I'm on a trying to angle the camera. I'm on an area that, if it's flowing fast, would obviously be covered. That's the next waterfall that drops out over there. Um, but I'm shooting back in this direction, back towards that main waterfall. Um, focusing on these green mosses here right in front of me looking I'm set got the camera set pretty much level with the top the top of these here so it's looking over the top of this pool and then with a waterfall behind so yeah it's quite a nice shot looks nice in the camera taking a couple of focus points one on this foreground and another one at the back so let me put the shot up let you have a look Okay, made our way along, found the uh, next waterfall, um, must say uh, we've ventured down off the main path and we're sort of following the rugged paths along the, along the sort of water's edge and up around the top and bringing us down here. So uh, some of the footing is pretty treacherous in places, so uh, if you're struggling, struggling walking in any way, this is not the place for you. But, but if you're okay, I'm gonna not gonna say fit and healthy because I'm not fit and healthy, but I've uh, but we've made it here. So we're down to waterfall number two, or for us, and we'll turn the camera around. Let you have a look. Okay, as you can see, a lovely idyllic pool right down in the bottom of the valley. Lovely scene. Uh, I would imagine get a few wild water swimmers taking a dip in this pool. But let me show you the composition I've got. So first shot, I've sat with these mossy rocks here in the foreground. And then that leads back with the reflection of the waterfall back to the waterfall itself, which is looking quite nice. Uh, it's starting to get brighter now, so may have to start thinking. I've just still just got a polarizer on at the moment. It starts getting brighter, and may have to think about putting an ND filter on. Uh, but getting away with it at the moment. So get a few shots, and then I'll uh, I'll put my favourite ones up from this waterfall, and let you have a look. So let's get a few shots.
Okay, this shot is definitely going to require a few, a um, couple of focus blends and a bit of exposure blending. Um, I like this this mossy old twisted root here. It's uh, really nice. So what I've done is using that, I've come down low and I've got that mossy root on the side I'll just show you in the back of the camera if I can uh, take the exposure down you can see that mossy root on the side and then got that waterfall back looking back through underneath it so yeah looks quite nice so take a couple of shots so that I can blend them all together hopefully if it looks as nice in the camera, uh, if it looks as nice in the final image as it does here, then I'll be happy. Okay, this is the waterfall at the end of the trail. Uh, it's a big one coming out over. You can actually walk in behind this one. I probably will in a minute. Uh, Joe and Martin's already in there being behind there at the moment uh, the sun is just broke which is in front of me at the moment so I'm just waiting for that to go over a bit uh, I have put a graduated filter on just to take a bit out the sky although to be honest I'm zooming in and just getting just above just above the waterfall there so I'm not actually picking up any sky I'm just picking up the light in the trees but because the sun's right in my face it's sort of looking but it looks like the clouds coming over again now so I think I'll put a polarizer filter back on again uh, to take out some of this glare in this water and then um, get some shots okay that light has got a lot softer now we've got a bit of cloud coming come over which is just soften that light but it's just glowing on the top of that waterfall just nice now it's uh, a much better light so just quickly grabbing some shots before another break in the cloud don't know if you can hear me over this thunderous thunderous waterfall but take you on a take you on a walk here we are behind the waterfall incredible Look at that. And out the other side. Okay, so Martin getting that shot now, looking directly underneath the waterfall. I'm gonna get the same shot myself as well. Right. Yes, look at that. Oh, loving it. This was uh, probably not the best waterfall photographically, but for wow factor, it is. 
Okay, so I've come around the other side of the uh, waterfall now. Just getting this shot. Like I say, um, it's one of those waterfalls. It's impressive size-wise, but it's, it's actually quite difficult to photograph. There's, um, you know, getting scale using something. I did take a couple of photos with Joe, which I'll put up for you so you can see the scale. And obviously the video footage of me walking through behind it. Um, but yeah, uh, my personal favourite so far is the first waterfall that we came across and photographed. And um, I think when we make our way back, we're going to try down the other side of the river and see if we can get to the other side of that one. Okay, um, like I say, we to get to this end waterfall, uh, we certainly didn't follow the main trail down. We've sort of gone off track a little bit and gone down and made our way along with some relatively steep climbs and some uneven footing. Um, but whether we've saved ourselves anything, I don't know. We're going to go back the main track now. Um, but all in all, it's been worthwhile. So I'm going to make my way back down through now. Like I say, we're going to have a look at the other waterfall. Um, if there's anything there, then there'll be a bit of extra footage on the video. Once again, thanks again for checking out my channel. Hope you're enjoying the content. And if you are, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up with the latest content. And um, drop the video a like. That'd be great. That'd be much appreciated. And also, drop me a comment down below so from the four waterfalls walk on the brackens till next time take it easy mm -hmm.